Hey everyone, welcome back to the Den Fireworks. Today's video, we are doing the Sonic 5-inch Whistling Shells by Fox Fireworks. <laughs> I had sworn off whistling shells. My muzzle brake was on a tank buster whistling shell. The American Glories, we all know how those went. They were atrocious this year with Kato's and low brakes left and right. But it sounds like these Sonic shells have been doing awesome on them. I've seen some great demos. I've heard a ton of buzz about them. And when I was up at Elite Fireworks in New Hampshire, I saw they had them. I talked to Valmir about them, and he was like, you really got to get them. He's like, trust me, get these. They're great whistling shells. You're not going to have a problem. So I picked them up. Let's see how they do. Looking at the back of the box, we do have 24 effects listed on the box. And we do have stock photos on all of them. They all say Long Whistling Tail 2, and then what the break is. So I'll take a picture of these in 12 chunks. I'll post them up so it'll be a little easier to read. But let's get this kit opened up, see what these 5-inch shells look like, how they're labeled, and we're going to get them thrown into a rack. Be right back. All right, so we take these shells out. We've got the normal config, six shells to a mortar tube. We got the mortar out, standard fiberglass. We've got that Fox logo on it, Sonic, and that purple wrap with the Fox all coming around. Fireworks in the back. Not a bad looking tube. And all of these shells have a gold foil wrap on them, but they still seem pretty easy to read. So we've got the annoying plastic cap. This end up, we've got Fox Fireworks in their logo, and they're all numbered with label. So this is 13 long whistling to silver silk willow to purple peony to white plum blossoms. That's a lot going on in this shell. If all of them are loaded up like that, this should be a magnificent kit to both look at and hear. So I'm going to get these all opened up and I'm going to put them into a 24 shot rack. They're going to be in order 1 through 24 and I'll be right back showing you how I fused them. Hey, we have the Sonic shelves all fused up in my 24 shot rack and I notice I missed cutting one of the fuses. Let's just take that one out right now with our cutters. I love these light little thin ones that I got from Pyro Boom. They're an anvil cutter, so they're non-sparking. We just have the one blade going down to the plastic surface. I know people love the big giant ones, and everyone's like, get yourself a set of the Ronins. Well, at first I could only really, I didn't want to spend a bunch of money. I bought these little get cheap guys. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to buy the Ronins. These are heavy. This jaw is huge. They're bulky. They're tough to get in there and angle around. Where these little cheapos, I can just get right in there. Snip, snip, snip. Love them, love them, love them. Anyway, that was a tangent. I once more went with my favorite blue safety fuse 16 to 20 seconds a foot on these this should give us a nice once the break is finished the next shell is coming up i think it's a really nice demo speed because we get to see each shell but we're not sitting around waiting either happy with how the tape job came out i'm also happy i switched over to full-time tape it's so much faster putting these racks together than dealing with the zip ties i'll still break out the zip ties sometimes but a lot rarer now anyway a lot of tangents in this one i'm gonna get this thing taped up with some painter's tape over the top to help prevent fuse jump and let's take these shells out see how these sonic ones look how that whistling tail sounds and make sure we don't actually have low breaks and kados in these and there are still some whistling shells we can trust thanks everyone <laughs>
Yeah, I don't think...